Hey guys, so I had the idea a while ago and then um, I'd also been suggested it by a couple people and that pretty much affirmed that I wanted to do it for sure. But um, I decided to do, just I'm going to try to do it weekly, we'll see how it works out. But um, right now I'm going to say it's a week in review video. So basically it's going to be like, kind of like a favorites video but not really. It's going to be like what I've been using this week, what I've been liking this week, anything I haven't liked this week. And I'm going to try to throw in like some other non-makeup type things like TV show and what book I'm reading and that sort of thing. So um, I've been trying out um, the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. I'm in the shade 120 Vanilla. Um, I really like this foundation. I find that it applies better with a brush because I've tried both ways with brush and fingers. Brush much easier. Um, and I hate that it doesn't have a pump because it dispenses way too much product when you tip it on your hand. I have to be like so careful and even then I end up getting some around the rim and it's just a mess. I end up using too much foundation because I don't want to waste it. Um, yeah, so I really wish it had a pump. Or, you know, even, like I always, you know, everybody always says pump, but like with, sometimes with runnier foundations, like a squeeze tube works well too, like with the uh, Chanel's Vita Lumiere Aqua, that kind of uh, packaging works really well for that one too, so. But um, yeah, besides that though, this foundation is really good. It's very much on the same, in the same vein as YSL Latente Touche Claw and L'Oreal True Match Lumi, so. I definitely don't think that um, you need to go out and spend the money on the YSL foundation because I've really found that the Revlon Nearly Naked and the L'Oreal True Match Lumi are excellent foundations and so much cheaper. You could buy like two of these and two of the two True Match Lumi or three of one of them and two of the other and you would have the YSL foundation. So. Personally, I would just stick with the drugstore. But um, for my face, pretty much all week I've been wearing, except today, <laughs> um, the Torina Tarantino Neapolitan Lane Blush, which is one of my absolute favorite neutral blushes. This one and Dolce & Gabbana Caramel. The only thing with this one is that Torina Tarantino's cosmetics line has been discontinued at Sephora. I think I heard that she'd still be selling it on her own website, but I'm not, sh I can't vouch for that. I'm not sure if I, if there's any truth to that. So, um, but it's a shame because this blush was so good and it was a really underrated brand too. So, um, and I've of course been wearing my Chanel, La Volume de Chanel mascara. I actually, I had so much fun last week. I, um, took my neighbor makeup shopping. She is like, super stylish and gorgeous and she really likes makeup too but um I kind of we went to Walgreens and I helped her pick out some things and she loved the stuff that she got and then she ended up going to Bloomingdale's and picking up the Chanel mascara after seeing um me put it on and everything she loved it so I absolutely love taking my friends shopping and showing them things and picking things out for them and helping them pick out things like I just love that I find so much joy and like I hate it if some if if they don't like what they got but I love it if they like it I feel like I've really like accomplished something so rambling um I've been using my you can't even read it it's like I've used it so much that I've completely worn off the writing but this is the uh, Laura Mercier amethyst caviar sticks one of my absolute favorite things ever I actually don't use this as a shadow I use it as a liner on my lower lash line I'm wearing it today too but it lasts all day and it's so pretty it basically looks like a shadow and a liner together so um it's amazing I love the caviar sticks oh I forgot to bring it over here but I've been wearing the rose gold one in my inner corner too and um I know in my last video I said I was disappointed in it but Really, I just was disappointed in that I couldn't wear it as a liner because I thought it was too light, but it's great as an inner corner color. And I love that I have a caviar stick that works for that now because they really last longer than anything, last longer than a shadow, last longer than other liners I've tried in the inner corner. Definitely amazing. So, um, oh, and I've been wearing pretty much nonstop 
the Chanel refinement quad. Thank you to the many people <laughs> who had swatched this and showed how beautiful it was and did uh, looks with this and made me feel like I needed to buy it. But I'm so glad that I did because it's probably my favorite quad that Chanel's ever come out with next to maybe Mystic Eyes. I love that one too. What is going on behind me? I love watching my videos back just to see what's going on behind me because I usually try to look at the camera and not pay attention to them. And uh, <laughs> when I watch them back, I just like crack up laughing. They're, they're like ridiculous, my cats. So um, also um, I've been wearing, I don't usually wear glosses very often. I, I don't, I don't have that many glosses in my collection just because like they have to be really amazing and even then I just tend to wear glosses more in the summer I don't know but Revlon's Killer Watt invaded my uh, daily routine this week and also for work I was wearing for some reason this one is like it's it's I think I just got one that's like, like this but it's really hard to take the cap off. But this is Revlon Sugar Plum. I never, like a year ago, I never would have thought that I would like this color. But it looks so pretty on. It's just one of those, like, just kind of makes your lips look really good. And it doesn't have any shimmer or anything. So, um, and it's, and it's really moisturizing. I'm surprised, I'm surprised. It doesn't leave a line or anything. And, uh, um, yeah, so, I don't know. But, um, but yeah, so anyways, blah, 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 rambling. So yeah, that's the makeup that I've been wearing this week mostly. I pretty much always wear some kind of winged liner. The Stila um, Stay All Day Liquid Liner pen is the one that I've been wearing nonstop, but I feel like, you know, it's not like, a, why even bother mentioning it? Because I always wear something like that. So, um, for skincare, I, as you know, I ran out of my, um, L'Occitane Apple Cleansing Oil, which, um, I think I'm gonna go to the outlet at some point and pick up another one, because it's just that good, and it's really, it's like $12, so, but, um, for Christmas, I got the Nude, um, what's it called? Perfect Cleansing Oil for face and eyes, and this one is really nice, too. I just, like, I can't imagine ever going back to a traditional cleanser after trying cleansing oils, because, they just feel so good. They're so gentle. I can literally rub my eyes and nothing. Like, it, it doesn't, it can get in my eyes and it does not irritate them whatsoever. And I have extremely sensitive eyes. And this one is, um, it's thicker than the L'Occitane one was. It's thicker than, um, the Shuamore ones I've tried. But, um, it's extremely moisturizing. After I rinse, my, it doesn't, um, it's a little trickier to lather because it is so thick. But, um, it just, it leaves my face feeling so moisturized and clean, and I just love cleansing oils, so I like that. Um, okay, so another thing. This is <laughs> such a random video, because I was going to make a list, and I totally forgot to, and I just really wanted to film this today. So, but, um, I've been meaning to talk about this so many times and have forgotten because I keep it next to my bed. I always keep lip balm next to my bed so that I can moisturize my lips at night and I really like slathering on. But this is called, um, I'm gonna butcher it, I'm gonna write it in the description bar because <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm really bad at French. Le Couvain de Minimes? Minime? Can you see it? Probably not. But um, this is the Honey Lip Balm. It doesn't say the name of it on the packaging. I actually saved the box it came in. Because the box is super pretty too. Well, I got this at Walgreens, but it's a French pharmacy brand. But okay, there you go. Now you can see. You see how emollient that is? My God, it's like super thick. And it feels amazing. And it really moisturizes my lips. And I really like this one too, kind of dabbed on my lips, just a tiny bit under lipsticks. It really helps to um, prevent dryness. So that's probably my favorite lip balm I've ever tried, period. So um, I also wanted to do like a thing where I tell you, I talk about like what my favorite product releases were this week or like launches or anything like that sort, if there is something like that. So first of all, um, the Target Valentine's Day stuff, 
Oh my god, I was completely blown away and everything was so inexpensive. I just wanted to just, like throw a couple of things up that I purchased. I got these straws. I actually saw these first on uh, Michelle Shell Go Lightly's Instagram. I got this caramel lollipop that looks like a mustache and it says, I'm mustache, will you be mine? Ah, oh, it so satisfies the cornball in me. But um, really adorable. They also had these little, like, um, signs. Mine's shedding. $3 each. Adorable. This one is sparkly. And I don't know if you can see, I don't want to show you behind me, but I posted an Instagram picture. If I, sh I mean, if I move my camera, the tripod is iffy in this position, so I don't want to lift it up. But, um, they also had a heart garland that was completely adorable. In the dollar section, they had these adorable heart pencils. You can see. Oh my god, so freaking adorable. I'm just obsessed. I also um, have been obsessed with Betsy Johnson's spring uh, jewelry collection. These earrings in particular, little gummy bear earrings with rhinestone eyes and gold bow, bow ties. Can, uh, it doesn't get any cuter than that, people. And also, um, for, like, body care stuff, um, the L'Occitane Honey Collection. Oh my god, why isn't this permanent again? They came out with this body cream. I also got the shower gel because if it's L'Occitane and it's honey, I'm gonna buy it. So, um, but this is a whipped body cream. And basically, I'll try to angle it the other way. Yeah, if you've ever tried, like, whipped cream cheese, that's essentially what this feels like. And it smells like honey and amazingness. So, um, yeah. And I love it, too, because it's really, like, the cap just snaps on and off. It's so easy to use. So, awesome. Awesome sauce. Um, these are just in that bag, too. So, I wish that these lenses weren't so reflective. They're fake glasses, but I kind of want to pop the lenses out. Those are from Aldo, by the way. I'm being very random in this video. I hope you guys don't mind. Sammy just crawled under this ottoman. I see his little butt sticking out. <laughs> okay, my other favorite launch was um, the Erin Beauty Spring Collection. Okay, tell me what packaging this looks like. Can we say YSL? This is the lipstick in the shade Garden Path. This is my favorite launch solely because of this lipstick. Okay, look at this. Now, can we say Tea Rose? This looks so much like YSL Tea Rose. It also looks a little bit like Rose Bergamath, Bergamese. I always want to say Bergamask. I don't know why. Or maybe it is Bergamask and I always want to say Bergamese. It's one or the other. <laughs> so um, number six in the Rouge Purgatoire. Um, those are probably my two favorite lipstick of, lipsticks of all time. And this is so beautiful. I'm wearing it right now. I love it. It's amazing. If you miss Tea Rose, get you some. Oh, why do I keep being like 11th gorgeous? I'm sorry. Um, I don't know why, but yeah, don't get you some. Go out and get it <laughs> because um, sadly, I got this from Neiman Marcus, but they sell Aaron Beauty at, um, it's A-E-R-I-N, by the way, for Aaron Lauder, but um, they sell it at Neiman Marcus and Saks and Bergdorf Goodman. Um, right now it's showing, it's up as pre-order on Neiman Marcus's website, but my store actually had it. And the second I saw it and swatched it, I knew it had to be mine. And uh, it's beautiful. So I'm very happy with that. Hello, you. What are you doing down here? What do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? Say hi, I'm the cute one. Hi. <laughs> wow, that was a stream close up. So, um, okay, for TV, probably my favorite show this week has been American Horror Story. It's one of those shows, it's like, sometimes when I look back on it, I'm like, they didn't really settle that, or, like, there's too much going on, but while I'm watching it, I'm consistently, like, at the edge of my seat, and I love it, and the season finale is going to be on this week, so, I'm very excited, and I'm pretty certain that the next season is going to be about witches, which I'm also excited about. Hey there, mouse! But, um, yeah, and also I'm really excited about The Carrie Diaries, which leads me into my favorite, or my favorite, my the book that I'm reading this week, which is 
Summer and the City, which I keep wanting to call Summer in the City. It's a sequel to The Carrie Diaries. I'm about 280 pages in. Um, but, yep. So, I've really been liking this nail polish that I'm wearing right now, too. This is Revlon Bubbly. Revlon nail polishes are awesome. Um, I think that's everything. Do I have a favorite app? Let's see. Favorite app? Favorite app? Uh, probably Pick Stitch. I use it for Instagram, like, all the time. So, um, yep. Wow, this was like the most random video I've ever made. So if you have any uh, suggestions on how to make this more organized or what else I should talk about, please let me know because I would love um, some assistance. Oh my God, I keep getting the hiccups. Um, and also, yeah, I'm gonna do a what's in my bag video this coming week. So I'm very excited about that. And I gotta say, I might've picked up a couple of things to organize my purse, just to make it a little bit more fun for me to make and watch. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm such a dork. But anyway, so I love you guys. I hope that you're having a great week. Oh, and this necklace from Aldo. Loving it too. Okay, that's it. Love you guys. Bye. Hey guys, so this is really weird. I'm using the front facing of my phone to film myself and I don't know where to look. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just gonna look at myself. I hope you don't mind. Um, but okay, so two things. One, um, now I'm sitting in my bed, and you can see my heart garland that I was talking about. <laughs> Isn't it freaking adorable? The only thing is, is I put these, like, rose lights up, and now I can't decide which one I want to leave up. <laughs> so, um, but, okay, so there's that. And then, also, like, I'm watching my video back, and I realized that two of the things, like, that I, like, were the, one of the main reasons that I wanted to make that kind of video was to tell you about like, uh, what YouTube channel I've been obsessed with this week, and what Instagram account I've been obsessed with. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna do that, <laughs> and then I'll tack this on to the end. But, um, okay, so for YouTube, for some reason, I had never, um, known about It's Judy Time, slash It's Judy's Life. Oh my god, I love her. I just completely love her. I love her husband. I love her baby Juliana. And I seriously, they could put like her vlog videos. She vlogs every day and they're long vlog videos. And vlog videos are some of my favorite ever. I wish I could do vlogs, but my life is very, like, I'm by myself most of the time. It would not be very exciting. And most days I work. So, um, but and it's not common to vlog around here when you're by yourself, so I think I would just get tons of stares and feel uncomfortable. But um, anyways, her vlogs are amazing, and I could just watch Juliana all day. Like when she pl will put on um, this Beyonce song, Love on Top, or she'll play it on YouTube for her, like anytime she's crying and she'll stop crying immediately and kind of like start to jam. It's the freaking cutest thing ever. If you go to Beyonce's video, Love on Top, almost all the top comments are about Juliana. So it's really adorable. I kind of am like hoping that Beyonce does like a shout out to her at some point because that would be so cool. But um, she just seems like a really sweet person and she's definitely filling the void that is in my heart right now for Ingrid, Miss Glamorazzi, who has not been posting videos very often and she's not been vlogging at all and I'm sad because her vlogs are awesome but um so there's that for Instagram oh my god number one enabler account is target does it again also I'm obsessed with searching the hashtag target does it again because lots of other people post that too when they buy things from target I'm just like target does it again post at least one new photo every day from of like something from Target. It's like basically my dream <laughs> Instagram account. It's so awesome. And also um, my very underfollowed friend, Michelle, Shell Go Lightly, who I mentioned also in this video before, um, her Instagram is always full of beautiful things that I want to buy and sometimes do because I've seen her vlog or post pictures of them and we have the same taste so yeah so that's my favorite Instagram and YouTube channel of the week so I'm happy that I got that out of the way and would you like to see my kitties right now because I will show you because they're being really cute oh 
what did I just do? It didn't work. Okay, I'm new to this. <laughs> I'm an iPhone newbie. By the way, may I just say that I'm so not used to iPhones, like, when you're in text messaging. I'm not used to it, like, staying on the same page that you're on. So, like, if I'm sending text messages back and forth to, like, a couple different people, like, I've accidentally text messaged the wrong, like, the wrong person so many times. And, like, last night I text messaged Ashley, that is all, because I saw these uh, Bando iPhone cases at Anthropology, and she'd been talking about them when we were hanging out. And then I went to text my neighbor that, um, because she was going to go to Moe's to have dinner with her husband, and I said I was going to go get a pizza. I was craving pizza. So when I went to pick up my pizza, I realized, I, I was like, oh, I've never been to, Bo to Moe's. Is it good? Blah, blah, blah. When I went to go pick up my pizza, the pizza place is right next to Moe's. And I was like, oh. So I thought it was really funny. But I text messaged that to Ashley. <laughs> she was like, <"Mah." laughs> I don't know what to say to that. So, um, yeah. Anyways, have you had any funny, if anyone's switched from iPhone to Android and has any funny stories, I'd love to hear them so I don't feel like such a blonde. But, oh my god, this video is going to be so long, so I will talk to you guys later. I love you very much. <laughs> Bye.